नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम बैक चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप टूडे इज अबाउट फूड न्यूट्रियट्स एंड यू शुड नो दैट ऑल द फूड आइटम्स दैट वी ईट दे हैव डिफरेंट फंक्शन टू परफॉर्म इन आर बॉडी सम फूड आइटम्स दे गिव अस एनर्जी टू डू आर डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज वेर आज सम फूड आइटम्स दे हेल्प अस इन बिल्डिंग आर बॉडी एंड देर आर सम फूड आइटम्स विच सेव अस फ्रॉम वेरियस डिजीजेज so similarly these different food items are divided into different categories right so today in this session we'll talk about what are those categories into which the food items are divided and what are nutrients right so let us start with our topic food nutrients so what we will learn here is about the food nutrients and since all these names are new to you so i'll simply read them out for you first is carbohydrates then we have fats proteins vitamins minerals roughage and water right but before we start discussing about the nutrients and groups let us understand why do we need food we need energy to do various day to day activities such as walking singing studying playing swimming etc right so where do we get this energy from food gives us the energy to do all such activities and moreover we also need food for growth and to stay fit right so now let us understand what are nutrients substances present in food that help the body to grow and stay healthy are called nutrients that means if you look at this plate we can see number of food items so there are substances which are present inside these food items those substances are called nutrients so let us recall what were those nutrients those were carbohydrates then we have proteins fats vitamins and minerals and then we have roughage and water also so you should know children that these food items are divided into different groups as i told you they have different function to perform in our body so let us understand what are those food groups so based on what nutrients the food contains they are grouped in three food groups so what are those food groups first is energy giving food as i told you that some food items they give us energy then we have body building food they help us to grow tall right and then there there are protective food which save us from various diseases now since we know the names of nutrients let us put those nutrients under these headings so carbohydrates and fats they fall in the category of energy giving food whereas proteins they fall in the category of body building foods and then we have vitamins and minerals we put them in the category of protective foods right so if we get back to our first slide so let us understand from here carbohydrates and fats we are keeping them in which category yes energy giving then we have proteins and we are keeping it in body building food category then we have vitamins and minerals which fall in the category of protective food so this was about the three food groups then we have roughage and water see children this roughage and water they don't have any food value but still they are important for digesting all these three types of foods right so now one by one we'll take up these nutrients so first nutrient with us is carbohydrates these are energy giving food they are of two types so from where do we get carbohydrates carbohydrates are present in sugar and starch let us see what are those items yes bananas pastries grapes ice creams they all contain carbohydrates they all contain sugar then starch is found in wheat rice potato and sweet potato 
so children as i told you that carbohydrates are energy giving food so if we look at these items over here the sugars and starch so we should know that the person who is not involved in uh, much physical activity no uh, say for example if i am sitting at home all the day long and there is a one there is one person say a laborer who is working outside right in the garden or somewhere in construction site so that means they need more energy because they are doing more physical work than i am doing while sitting at home similarly the one who is sitting in the office and not involved in any physical activity so that person also needs less carbohydrates so who needs more carbohydrates people who do more physical work need more energy giving food for example athlete laborers etc they need more carbohydrates than the one who is sitting on one place right so let us have a look at some pictures from where do we get these carbohydrates we get these carbohydrates from raisins pastry honey sugar cane so they fall in the category of sugar and under the heading of starch we have rice bread potatoes wheat and cereals right so that was about carbohydrates so with this we'll move on to another nutrient and that is fats so again fats are energy giving food they provide more energy than carbohydrates our body needs fats in very small amount food rich in fats are oil butter ghee cream cheese paneer nuts etc right so that means what if we eat lot of fats you know we will become fat or we call it that we will become obese and obesity it leads to many diseases so it is very much mentioned here that we need fats but in very small amount and if you happen to eat lot of fat mind you you need to do a lot of physical exercise also so that this fat does not deposit in your body and it does not make you obese so excess fat causes a disease in the body known as obesity so children this was all about carbohydrates and fats and we have talked about energy giving foods right now we'll switch over to proteins these are body building food growing children need more proteins than adults as we are saying that these are body building that means adults they have fully grown right so they are not growing they are not going to grow taller right but you children see when you came to the school in pre nursery then you were very small but now since you are in class 4 so you have attained a reasonable height so that means you are in the process of growing so you need more proteins than your parents or your teachers these help in the growth of the body and repair of worn out tissues so as i told you that children need more proteins because you have to grow tall but what what is the another function that proteins do they repair the worn out tissues for example let us say if someone falls down and gets a bruise right and you know after applying the antiseptic cream lotion uh when you remove the bandage after some days what do you find you find that there is entirely new layer of skin over there right that means new skin is formed how is it formed because of the proteins present in the body so proteins they help to repair the tissues so that means we adults also need proteins so that our worn out tissues are repaired but we need them in small quantities not as many as children need then food rich in proteins are milk cheese pulses if we talk about vegetarians so they should get proteins from all these items but a veget non vegetarian will get these items from fish eggs and 
meat right so that was about bodybuilding food and if what if there is deficiency of protein in your body then we suffer from a disease called kwashiorkor right so that was about bodybuilding food now we'll move on to the protective food and nutrients that fall in this category are vitamins and minerals as the name suggests protective that means they protect us from various diseases so vitamins these are protective food they help us to stay healthy and protect us from diseases our body need vitamins in very small quantities so let us see what are those food items from where we get vitamins these are leafy vegetables fruits and definitely milk so with this we'll move on to next protective food and that is minerals so similarly like vitamins they also protect us from diseases and they are needed by the body but not in very big quantity rather in small quantities you must have heard of calcium calcium is a mineral like right? so calcium you get from milk curd and nuts and they make our bones and teeth strong so if we talk about another mineral so that is iron iron we get from green leafy vegetables apples and you know egg yolk contains lot of iron but you know what happens if we don't eat enough iron then we'll feel tired and weak so children that was all about the nutrients and the three food groups now we'll take up our next topic that is roughage and water so if we talk about roughage first of all what is roughage roughage is the fiber present in green vegetables fruits and cereals for example if uh, if i talk about oranges or bananas you must have seen those thread like structures in oranges and bananas right so what are those thread like structures called they are called roughage it cannot be digested and hence does not provide any nutrients so that means roughage is not a nutrient but still it is required by the body so why it is required by the body because it helps in the movement of food through the intestine and final removal of waste from our body basically you have to understand that roughage is required for the digestion of food so what all items are there from where we get roughage these are again vegetables fruits and cereals so with this we'll move on to water a very essential component of our body water is very important of our body it helps in digestion and maintains body temperature by sweating our body loses water through sweat breath and urine so we should drink plenty of water in order to make up for the loss of water so that means generally it is advised that you should drink 6 to 8 glasses of water every day you know why because it helps our food to get absorbed in our body children with this let us recall the two diseases that we talked about one was kwashiorkor and you should know that it happens when our body does not get enough proteins and the another one is obesity and it happens when our body gets more food than it requires so that means overeating or undereating both are bad so with this we'll move on to the keywords so first is nutrients substances present in food that help the body to grow and stay healthy and roughage is the fiber present in green leaves fruits and cereals so with this let us take up the first question why do we need food and the key points that we are going to cover here are that we need energy and we get this energy from food and food helps us to remain healthy and stay fit so let us take up another question what are nutrients name some nutrients now all of you know that nutrients are substances that are present in food 
and these nutrients are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals now with this let us take up another question what are carbohydrates proteins fat vitamins and minerals so that means you have to write short notes on various nutrients right so let us see how will we'll answer this question first of all we'll talk about that each food i uh, each nutrient falls in which food group whether it is energy giving it is body building or it is protective right then we'll talk about its function then we'll say who needs it more and then we'll talk about the food items where these nutrients are found so for example i'll take one example of proteins so first i'll talk about the food group so proteins fall in the category of bodybuilding foods then i'll talk about its function so it helps in the growth of the body and who needs it more growing children need more proteins and then i'll give the examples from where i will get proteins milk cheese egg fish meat pulses etc so children similarly you will talk about all the rest of the nutrients mentioned here now we'll move on to revise and recall state whether the following statements are true or false carbohydrates are energy giving food yes that is true consumption of fat in ex excess is good for health no that is false if we'll consume lot of fat then we'll become obese vitamins are body building food sorry vitamins are protective food so this is false then roughage is the fiber present in the food that is true to stay healthy we should not drink water no to stay healthy we should drink a lot of water so children that was all about food nutrients but before we leave let us look at this tray which i have got for you and let us try to identify the various food items which are kept here and the nutrients present in these items so if we talk about fresh vegetables leafy vegetables we know that they contain vitamins and minerals and lot of roughage similarly if we talk about cheese we know cheese in it falls in the category of body building food so these are they contain proteins right so here i have butter and butter is a fat fat is an energy giving food if it i talk about an egg then egg is again a body building food because it contains proteins right if we talk about pulses pulses they contain lot of proteins and proteins are again body building foods and then we have wheat wheat or cereals they are carbohydrates again energy giving food so similarly today what i want you to do is whenever you are having your meal just check out your plate and try to identify the various nutrients which are there in your plate so that was all for now thank you for listening thank you for watching and take care of yourselves